Hey guys, Vinny House from Epicenter Outdoors here. I wanted to make a quick video to show you guys how to set up your Cuddyback cell cam and also how to link them to your J series or G series cameras. All right, so now we're gonna go through and show you how to link your J series and your K series cameras. So first, your K series cell camera, you have to go onto the commands menu and go over to the link menu. And hit the up button, you're gonna confirm it. And so for the Cuddy Link system to work, one of your cameras is gonna have to be the home camera. All right, so for the CL mode, the home camera is the camera that receives all of the pictures from the other linked cameras. Okay, so this cell cam is gonna be your home camera. Also, you can turn it off. Um, a repeater is just a camera that doesn't take pictures and it just sends over the pictures. It's like a signal tracker. It bounces, it keeps your signal strong between cameras. Your next one is a remote camera. Okay, the remote camera just means it's a camera that takes pictures, but it sends whatever, whatever pictures that it takes, it sends to the home camera. So for our purposes here, our cell camera will be our home camera. So then you hit more to go to the next thing. Okay, so your cell camera, I chose mine to be location one because you can make it whatever you want. There's all kind of different locations, but I just made it number one. That's just your personal preference. Next is the CL info. This is where you see how many nodes or cameras you have connected to your link. Okay. One very important thing that you're gonna need next is to have all of your cameras linked on the same channel. So you can choose whatever channel you want. It doesn't matter what number you choose, just as long as all of the cameras have the same channel programmed in, okay? So you go to the next button, hit your more button, and it'll take you to the cell menu. So that's pretty much all you need to do with your cell camera. And now I'll take you to the J camera and show you how to hook it up. Okay, now we're gonna move over to our J-Series camera and I'm gonna show you the link menu and how to connect this camera to your cell camera. Okay, so we're gonna run through the modes and get to our commands menu. I'm gonna hit more till we get to the CL menu, which is Cuddy Link menu, and hit up, confirm it. Okay, since I made the cell camera my home camera, I'm gonna make this J-Series camera a remote, which means every picture that it takes, it will send to this cell camera as long as it's connected to one another via the signal which i'll show you how you can see the strength of that signal okay so now i'm going to hit the more button and it will take me to the location i made this number two because my cell camera is number one i'm going to make sure that this channel is the same i have the cell camera on channel one so this camera is going to be on channel one as well and then the cutty link Cutty link delay, you can set it to 10, five seconds, whatever. You can change all of these cameras, set the delay differently so that, say I have one camera send every five seconds, so the next one will send every 10 seconds so that they're not trying to send at the same time if they get a picture at the same time, if that makes sense. Okay, so the next time, the next menu is the CL count, okay? That shows you how many pictures will queue if it won't send every five seconds or whatever. If you get a backlog of a lot of pictures, that's how many pictures will queue. That's your CL count. Okay, CL level, this is the signal strength. This is the most important measure for you to tell you how far away from this home camera you can get with this camera. Right now, it's blinking because it's trying to connect to this cell camera that I have. So it'll take a minute or two. They're sitting right next to one another, so they should link right now. And it says 99 good, which tells me that I have a perfect signal. I can put that camera out right now. So say I go walk 200 yards down, right across the field, the other end of a field, and I put this out, it'll say, it'll come up with a number on the left, and it'll say good, or it will say poor, or it will say weak. Okay, you can get away with using a poor or weak signal 
it will send pictures, but it might not send them as efficiently, and it might not, you might not get the picture, every single picture, okay? So you wanna focus on keeping the cameras at a good level, and that, so whenever you set up your home camera, then you go through these menu, like I showed you, you go to the CL level, and then when you get to wherever you were thinking about putting the camera or whatever, you can turn it on, go to this menu, and it will show you your signal strength, and you can decide whether or not the camera is in a good spot based upon the signal that you have. Once you see that you have a signal and it's good, your cameras are connected and it'll start transferring them directly to whatever your home camera is, whether it's a cell cam or it's just another J series. With a regular J series, it will send it to your SD card and you'll have to go check it. But if you have a cell camera, it will send them directly to your phone, which is an amazing tool because you can stay out of the woods and not ruin your favorite spots. And if you're interested in any of these cameras, give us a call or email us at epicenteroutdoors at gmail.com. You can check us out on our website at epicenteroutdoors.com or also like us on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you guys for watching the video and have a blessed day.